sitting in the back of a tin can, if you will. You're getting bounced around inside because of the explosions. With their conventional weapons having little effect on the tanks, the Iraqi forces increasingly resort to desperate measures. We encounter suicide vehicles. Cars pull around the corner. Then they'd stop and they'd pull back. And then as you'd go by, you'd see them scream out, and then they would, they would attack you from the flank. With the Iraqi government still denying US presence in Baghdad, innocent civilians, apparently unaware of the fighting, pose a significant challenge to the soldiers on Highway 8. Suicide vehicles were a matter of warfare that we came to expect. And the difficult part was, how fast do you have to make a decision whether that becomes a suicide vehicle or that's just somebody out on a drive? So we really were having to make split-second decisions on friendly, foe, shoot. The weapon of choice against a suicide car is a deadly ammunition round, the Sabo. The armor-piercing round physically comes apart, and the penetrating rod is what continues on to the target. The rod, made of depleted uranium, has no explosives in its tip. Traveling at speeds of up to 3,500 miles per hour, it instead kills through sheer kinetic energy. When it hits, the, it creates such force that it, it bores a hole through it. A spray of white-hot metal fragments explode into the target, killing any occupants. It liquefies everything inside. You can technically come in with a hose and hose out the enemy tank crew. It just annihilates human matter. 